Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin. I am the Bibliophile Puzzler and I am choosing my next puzzle. Now, I did just ask when I showed my Cobble Hill Elements puzzle, the Earth puzzle, and asked the question, should I do the Puzzle the Alphabet event in alphabetical order or should I continue to spin the wheel? So until I get responses, if I get any responses, I'll continue to use the wheel. So as you can see, there's been three spins because I started one that I didn't put on the wheel. I've done three more, so this will be my fifth puzzle for the month. And let's see what comes up. Okay, this is Country Store at Night. This is a machezo, obviously a night scene, and it may indeed be the first night sky jigsaw puzzle that I will be doing or have done. Now, I've done a couple of night and day puzzles from Buffalo, but they're still rather bright, whereas this one is rather dark. But I can't wait to get started on it, and I will see you with my next video. But first, I want to hide the slice so this won't come up on my next spin. So thanks to a couple of followers on my channel here, the suggestion was that I stick with the wheel, and I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed working on this Machezo puzzle. Now, this also says on the box, Depot Street, so it's Depot Street or Machezo. I love the brand, and I really enjoyed the puzzle. It was very enjoyable to put together, despite the fact that it is my first night scene. So quite naturally, it was a very dark puzzle. So I took a lot of breaks when I worked on this puzzle, but I can't tell you how much I enjoyed it. First of all, the quality. The quality is Ravensburger quality or Cobble Hill quality. Ravensburger in the sense that it has the standard piece cut, the grid cut pieces, but the quality is excellent. It's no false fits or anything like that. I really enjoyed working on it. I did take a lot of breaks. I did things in between, like I did some diamond painting, worked on my blog, sat in my recliner and read an entire book on my Kindle Paperwhite. I did, you know, my nighttime sleeping. So it took parts of three days to put this puzzle together. I knew that it was going to be a challenge because of how dark it is, but don't worry. I love a challenge and I love this puzzle. I love the scene. A country store and gas station looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. So there you have a country store at night. But before I end this video, let me show you my other Machezo puzzles that are in my collection so far. So the very first Machezo puzzle I did was December of 2022, and it was the happiest kid in the world. And then a month or so later, I did Iron Horse number nine. And then the last one you see here is Gradient Moon. And then, of course, the one that I just finished. So I just thought I would show you my limited puzzles of the completed Machezo puzzles that I've done. And for the heck of it, I think I might even go ahead and show you the ones that are still in my collection that I have not yet done. So I was just about to upload this video, but then I took a quick look at the back of the box. And I wanted to share with you what's on the back of the box of this Depot Street or Machezo brand of puzzle called Country Store at Night. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it. It says, in times gone by, when things were simpler, a stop at the general store on an old country road was a family tradition. Fill up the sedan or truck with fuel, carry out the groceries in brown paper bags, and watch the kids eat candy out of their penny bags. Turning this photograph into a sketch seemed right and added drama to the scene, giving it a look and feel of things the way they, the way things were. And then it tells you a little bit about the brand of puzzle. It says Depot Street puzzles are thoughtfully designed to convey time-honored values, a sentimental longing for the past, 
and the unique experience of small town life in America. These original images created by our exclusive artists and photographers are carefully selected and reproduced to ensure a pleasant puzzle experience for everyone. For more information about the Depot Street brand or to see our ever-growing collection of puzzles, visit, visit www.depotstreetpuzzles.com. And lastly, the box gives us a little bit of a bio of our artist, Jim Begley. And he's a world-class professional photographer with a primary focus on landscape photography. He co-leads tours and workshops all over the country in the use of Adobe Photoshop and high dynamic range or HDR photographic techniques. One of his favorite locations is Iceland, as well as the Western United States. He says, I enjoy capturing what God has created and sharing it with everyone. And he resides in Kentucky. So I thought before I upload this video that I would share that info from the back of the box. I think you should give Depot Street or Michezzo Puzzles a good look. And again, Depot Street is www.depotstreetpuzzles.com. And the Machezo line is www.machezo.com. Machezo is M C H E Z O, machezo.com. So I just thought I would show you the remaining Machezo puzzles that I have. And this first one is Staying Up All Night, a 1,000 piece puzzle, which all of their puzzles that I have are 1,000 pieces. This one is Sidewalk Treasures. I actually want, really want to do this one. It's so cute. Then we have Dawn of Video Games. And then the last Machezo puzzle that I have not yet done so far is Pinball Invasion. So that's the entire collection of puzzles I have from Machezo. The ones that I've done, the ones that I have not yet done. And I, I, if I haven't already mentioned, because you don't see these puzzles a lot on the groups, I thought showing you a little bit more what I have in my collection with regard to these would be worth it. So be sure to check out michezzo.com or what is it? depotstreetpuzzles.com to see more of this brand of puzzles. They're excellent puzzles, and I'm so glad to have shared them with you with this video. I've already got my next puzzle sorted. It's a white mountain puzzle, and I'll see you in a couple of days once that one is done. Thank you so much for watching. Have a pleasant day.